my magpie. Welcome to Magpie Girl and Frankie. I'm Magpie Girl and Frankie is my 92 Dodge Road Truck. Today we have a tarot reading for you, an earth tarot reading. Earth tarot is a practice that I've been developing where we humbly ask the land that we're visiting to communicate with us through the tarot cards. So it works with the four directions and the four elements to connect with your mind, body, spirit, and heart. Today we're reading from Kayak Point County Park near Stanwood, Washington, which is on Tulalip territory, very near the Tulalip Cultural Center. And so what I've done to prepare for this reading is I've grounded down and connected to the energy of the space and asked it if it would communicate with us. I thanked it for taking care of us, made apology for not caring for this land adequately enough, made apology for removing our ancestors, indigenous ancestors from the land, and thanked the indigenous ancestors and the current indigenous people who take care of this land for its good stewardship of it. And out of that place of connection, gratitude, and humility, I've asked the land if it would communicate to us through the cards. So this is what the land here has to say for us right now. Starting in the spring in the east, because that's the season that we're reading in, the element of air speaks to our spirit. And in that position, we have the mother of swords. Be sure to follow your own spiritual path. Don't subjugate your practices to the ideas or opinions of others when it comes to your spirituality right now. In the next position, in the summer, in the south, the element is fire and it speaks to the heart. You have the seven of swords reversed today, which is about secrets. And it's inviting us to not keep our emotional state a secret, but to live in integrity with what our heart is telling us and what our emotions are telling us, anything less would be considered a betrayal and will not be profitable to us. In the fall, in the West, the element is water and it speaks to our body. We have the Six of Wands reversed. This is such a beautiful card when it's in the upright position because it means you're ready to emerge from a thicket. When it's in the reverse position, it's asking you to detangle your body so it can rise. So if you have, wands are about thoughts. So if you have a lot of thoughts and ideas about what you would like to do for and with your body, and there's so many of them and they're kind of tangled and jumbled, extract one, like a pickup stick, and enact a plan upon it in gentle alignment with your body. And that will help your physical self rise. I think we all need this right now as we're coming out of the pandemic year. Finally, in the winter, in the north, the element is earth, and it has, and it is related to our mind and our knowing. And we have this very powerful card, the Ace of Swords. You know what you know. Trust it and charge forth. Use your knowing to cut through any gaslighting that might be coming your way. If you start to have second doubts about something you felt convicted of a few moments before someone else started speaking into your life, set a boundary with that person and with their message. Don't let their gaslighting shift your assuredness of your own knowing. So that is what the earth, the air, the fire, the water returned to us today here on Tulalip territory. As always with tarot, eat the fish and spit out the bones. Take what resonates with you and let the rest go. I'm so glad we got to tarot together today. And until we meet again, I hope that you will get curious, trust your gut, and whatever you do, pick the path with the most promise.